Hey gang, what's up? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite jig trailers of all time and that's the Zoom Super Chunk Junior. Um, I'm going to give you guys several different options about how to rig it and sort of talk about situationally when it works the best and I think it's going to help you guys catch some good fish. So anyway guys, here's the uh, Super Chunk Junior trailer. Now this is a this is what is considered a small jig trailer, sort of a finesse jig trailer, but de depending upon how you rig it, you can uh, actually create larger profiles. So I'm going to show you the two main ways that I rig the trailer based upon the profile I want to uh, consider. So first of all, here's uh, just a regular, this is one of my block of old school jigs, which is considered a full size jig. Now one way you can rig the super chunk is to take it, and what I like to do a little bit guys is, um, See how thick it is right at the end of the trailer, right at the end of the uh, a chunk there. I like to take a pair of scissors and knock off a little bit of that plastic right there because uh, this gives me a little bit uh, more hook penetration. So what I'll do in one application, I'll just I'm gonna use the black one here, match the color a little bit, a little bit better. Um, what I do in one situation is I hook it through right at the end like that. Just Just hook the hook right through the end of it. Now, when you hook it like this, it creates a longer profile. You see, you got the majority of the chunk hanging down past the skirt. So this makes the uh, chunk look a little bit larger um, if you want to create that type of a look there. The other different way you can rig it. Now, I want to show you the before and after here. Let me get a, another chunk out here. Um, I'm going to show you how just how you put it on completely changes the profile. Now this next one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna thread it on. So I've got the same jig here and we're gonna take the same chunk and we're gonna thread it on the shank. And you see on the shank there, you've got a keeper. So you wanna make sure you get the plastic up over that keeper and that keeps the, the, the chunk from falling down if the fish pulls it or if you cast it real hard. So I'm threading it all the way through the, the chunky part and I'm coming out um, just right there where the legs start and I'm going to start threading it up on over the shank So I've got like that and then usually what I do This skirt is long once I do that. So I'm going to trim a little bit of that skirt back And I'm going to show you the, the differences here. now. Here's here's threading it on there and here's putting it on there like a chunk so it's you got the same trailer the exact same jig, but you got two completely different profiles of jig as far as the size goes now then you have to ask yourself well uh, you're not familiar real familiar with uh, bass fishing or getting into it why do you want different profiles a couple different reasons first of all let's talk about say the time of the year or the conditions um, a lot of times that the fish want a larger profile lure so say for example if you're fishing during the pre-spawn period of the year when the bass are really feeding on crawdads heavily and they're trying to get fat a lot of times a larger profile jig will work another time is if you're fishing dirty water dirty water if you have a larger bait it creates more water displacement and the fish can track it a little bit better so if the water's dirty like under 12 inches of visibility i'll go threading it on with the larger size now if the water is a little bit clearer and say for example <clears throat> it's the rest of the time of the year and i'm maybe not fishing around heavy cover Maybe I'm fishing around rocky banks or around boat docks. Water visibility is over three foot clarity. And maybe the lake I'm fishing is not really known for having a lot of big fish in it. Then I may go to the uh, threading it on to, to create the smaller profile simply because you get more bites. And that's the ultimate thing behind it, guys. The smaller bait that you're using, whether it be a jig or anything, you're going to get more bites. And the larger bait, you're going to get fewer bites, but you're going to get bigger fish overall. So... It's really what you're, what you're looking for. If you're just out looking to catch big fish and you don't care how many fish you catch, you know, you can go to the larger size. But if you're just wanting to get bit and you don't really care about catching big ones, you know, you can downsize. But anyway, guys, Zoom Super Chunk Trailers. These are one of my favorite trailers to use. Um, if you guys want to pick up a few, I'll put that Baitworks link in the description. You guys can get them there. But it's one of my mainstays for a jig trailer all year. So hope it helps. We'll talk later. See you.